to the man cave. Hey guys, welcome. This is the music room also. This is where I do all my music editing and music building. But today we have something different for you. And we something decided... Fun. All right, so my birthday is coming up in a couple weeks. So Brett and Patrick offered to go in on something with me because I've always wanted it for <laughs> filming. Um, can't afford it. <coughs> Terrified of it at the same time. So... So we decided to splurge. So I only have to pay for a third of it. <laughs> so Patrick's gonna give me three, Brent's gonna give me three hundred, uh, and that leaves me with about three fifty. So that's not too bad. I'll, I'll accept that. So that's really cool. But what it's for is to make our videos that much better for you guys. Who might get it? Can't and, and wait for to us check too. it out. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? <laughs> if you want to guess, pause now. Leave a comment. Yes. No cheating. We know you guys. But, uh, so, what we decided to get was the, uh, should we do the little one first? We're going to get to that in okay. a second. What we bought was, was the Phantom, Phantom Vision 2. Two. Uh, one of the first things about the Vision 2 that get, actually got my attention was the need. fact that you can actually use Wi-Fi and it'll see what you're looking at. So you can actually use Wi-Fi without having to buy an FPV yourself and you can control the camera tilt you know when I can't don't have hands enough but if you see the arrows there that moves the camera watch my phone down. you'll see the camera change as I put the camera down like so it goes down you hold this still Patrick oh, no. it's very important to hold it still <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> I was playing <laughs> and now you can see the cameras going up so that's really important. Plus, it also shows you on GPS which way your drone is pointing. Another very cool feature. It also will let you know how far up in the air it is, how, latitude, longitude, how far away it is, how much battery life is left, and how many satellites you have. You push the button. I'll just I'll show you. Okay, heads off. Okay, there was the button right there. That's the on off. Then when it's on, the green lights all light up. So, here's the camera under the belly, and it's staring at you. <laughs> kind of looks like the Starship Enterprise. So now we're going to just, it came with a lens cap, so we're going to throw the lens cap on. Okay. A good filmmaker knows that lens caps are priceless. <laughs> they protect everything, right? Right. All right, guys. So, anyway, so, neither Patrick nor myself, or Brent either for that matter, has ever attempted to fly one of these things or anything like it. And this is the Wi-Fi extender right here. This is what makes it possible for you to get the first person view. So I'm just going to turn that off to save on it right now. So that's on the controller. So, but before we bolted into the Phantom, we decided we needed something to practice with just to see if we would even like it. No way. way. <laughs> the Hubson was X4 and this would be a good one to practice with. Absolutely. It would. It's a lot less expensive for one thing. Free. You, you, can, you can find them under 100 bucks. Sometimes you can find them for under 50 dollars. If you plan on adding a quadcopter to your video shoots, definitely get one of these to practice with first. Oh yes, that's what I did to practice. Unless you've flown something already. Yeah. We never had. And we're waiting for the propeller guard to come on this one. That's all we're waiting for before we can start flying that around again in the house. These are a little sensitive. Uh, for me, I felt that the controls were a little sensitive on this one. And it's fast. So, yeah. I don't know. It, it, to me, it would be easier to have a bigger space to, to fly it in like a gymnasium. <laughs> I don't think they got this in that school to play I don't think so either. But, I don't know. Our little living room was quite challenging. <laughs> but... Any good video gamer knows this. You gotta do the hard stuff before it gets easy. So if you can fly that in the living room. Then you can definitely switch to the Phantom. You should be up the Phantom yeah. out. Because uh -huh. the Phantoms just feel more or less sensitive, more forgiving. They're very the they're still very sensitive though. Uh -huh. I have to admit that I was a little surprised by their sensitivity. You can adjust some of the yaw, the roll, the pitch. You can do all that in the in the assist um, app that you can download. And one huge thing with the Phantom that I have to agree that everybody on YouTube has said that we felt was really good advice is update your firmware right away. 
before you even try to fly it. There are some great uh, tutorial videos out there on YouTube that anybody should, you know, check out. I've got to check them out more. <laughs> I actually have to say something about this before I forget. This is this is the Phantom controller from DJI. <laughs> Believe it or not. They want you to plug it into a USB port so you can plug it into your computer to update the firmware. That's great. Absolutely. I get that. There's no USB port <coughs> anywhere on this. You actually have to take the controller apart and the USB port is inside. When you just purchased something, that made me a little leery. But it went well. Um, the instructions aren't that good. Definitely watch other YouTubers. Um, you, you, Patrick saw some some of the footage that was taken today with the Phantom. Oh, the Phantom took some awesome footage, and this was really your first, really first time out, right? Oh, but when he took it to the big church parking lot, and that's where we're challenged here, is because it's winter time, uh, we can't just trudge out into a field because it'd be up to our waist in snow. Or next. So, yeah, so they took it to a parking lot, which was a fantastic idea. And you really got some height out of it, and got some beautiful aerial views, which we'll show you. Yeah, I was actually afraid, I was actually afraid to go up too high, because it looked like the trees were growing in as it went up higher, because it got so much smaller. So I maxed out between 70 and 75 feet at one point. And oh, the, wow, what great aerial views it had. Yeah, the wind was shifting just enough, and of course when you rotate it to get that shot you want, there all the controls change. <laughs> Freak me out. Uh, main thing is don't panic because the GPS on it, it will what? It will realign itself and come back to a stationary spot where it started and just hover. Right, so if you start to freak out with the Phantom, you just let go. And if you get a good GPS lock and you follow the instructions to calibrate it, the, the compass, you should be all set. If you don't get the green lights when you do the compass, don't fly it. Please don't. Calibration is, I guess, very important. Yeah, uh, there's a fly home button in emergency if it loses <coughs> connection to the controller here. It supposedly will go straight up from where it is, 60 feet, and fly back to where you set the compass. So every time you get to a new site, set that compass. Uh, Very important. <laughs> so otherwise, otherwise it can go... Pshum. Yeah, there's been flyaways, there's been crash downs, all the stuff I don't want to talk about. Um, That's the nerve wracking stuff. But man, when you look back and you've got that shot that you wanted, oh, yeah. you just kind of, it's exhilarating. Just a matter of getting used to it, getting a little practice time in, yeah. you know. And by practice time, I mean probably first, like for me personally, I'd want to just practice the flying, flying it. And see if I can get it to react the way I want it to and get a feel for the controls. And then later on start using the camera. Yeah. It, it'll stay put and just go right up, right down, and it stays within a very s precise area. As long as you it's have really at least seven or eight GPSs, that's huge. Yeah. And, you know, so it's very important to lock in your GPSs before you fly it, okay. from what I gather. You basically, you basically just, I haven't flown it yet, so I really can't comment. <laughs> he's, going, he's going to, and when he does on Sunday or Monday, which look like the next good days to fly, uh, we'll try to get some footage of that. It might be hard because I'll be the one chasing the leash on it in case I make sure it doesn't fly away. But check out the footage that Brian got today. It's pretty awesome considering he's like second time up.
the footage. What you, you think? As, and as you can see, though, like the only downside that I've found with it at all is that there's no gimbal on this one. So you Does get you a, what a gimbal is a gimbal that keeps the camera horizontal no matter which way the device is moving. It's always smooth. It always stays level. This one kind of it has the bumpers. It's kind of like a gyro. It. Yeah, you know. This one has the bumpers to keep it from jelloing out, but it, when you turn to the right or the left, you'll you notice that the camera tilts too. So, but I think we can deal with that. So <laughs> if, if you if you get any questions about it, if you think that it's a cool idea, if you hate the idea, if you just want to gripe or grumble, we're here. Yeah, make leave a comment. We like all comments. Yeah, good, bad, <laughs> and thumbs up. You know, thumbs down. <laughs> we'll take anything we can get. Yeah. Preferably thumbs up. <laughs> but uh, criticism is always welcome, although on, on the oh, site. Oh, yeah. It's a learning curve. If we agree with you, we'll absolutely so. you know, be open-minded to it. If not, we'll, we'll just ignore you. And uh, feel free to, if you have an idea of what might be a great footage to take from an aerial perspective, let us know. We'll that's, consider it. It's a very interesting point right Especially there. Especially in summertime. Yeah. <laughs> we can get to it. Right now, it's 10 minutes outside. You can't feel your fingers. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going. I think we can sign off right about there. Okay. And we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Have a great day. There it is.